one. We are joined here today by Hofstra Men's Lacrosse post-game press conference with head coach Seth Tierney and senior Matt Elder following today's win over Secret Heart. Coach, give us your thoughts following the win over the Pioneers. Yeah, uh, first, before we start talking about the game, um, this is something that we need to just talk about that's a little bit more important. And uh, I would just like for people to know that the Hofstra Men's Lacrosse program stands uh, with the Howard Women's Lacrosse Program. There was an issue that took place uh, at their away game that should not be happening in today's world. And uh, I need Coach Silcott and all the ladies of the Howard Women's Lacrosse Program to know that um, the Hofstra Men's Lacrosse Program, we got their back and we're with them. Uh, with that being said, I am, uh, it's obviously hard to transition out of that, but I, um, I'm proud of the way we handle things. Um, we have maybe not a, a young team by birth certificate, but we have sometimes we have an inexperienced team by minutes, games played, um, opportunities and things like that. And for, for the guys to step up and take care of business really in the first quarter, uh, answer back after a couple minutes in the third quarter and really put the game away uh, obviously not thrilled with the fourth quarter score, uh, but I thought that, you know, we got a bunch of guys in um, and, and to be sitting next to Matt Elder, who has, he's worked really hard and life uh, game time minutes maybe hasn't come to him and then for him to step up and ignite our offense today um, with a bunch of assists and, and, and to move the ball and feel the game, uh, I'm awfully proud of him. Uh, again, we had a lot of guys that had their first goal uh, defensively, you had a couple of good good opportunities. Uh, the defense in the third quarter, I thought, stepped up. Uh, still upset about that end of the first quarter goal in the last second. Uh, we got to be on our toes and and finish that off. So um, proud of the guys. We got some work to do with the faceoff X, and uh, we got we got a few things to work out clearing wise. But we'll uh, we'll get better each week. Questions. Coach, we'll draw Kansas starter today. What's he doing to earn your trust and get more minutes when the season gets into conference play? Yeah, you know what Gerard, Gerard is, he's a lacrosse player, right? He's got a great lacrosse IQ. He's got great feel. Um, and, you know, what he may lack in some speed, he makes up with his hands, right? I mean, he's got some behind the back stuff. He's got some feel on not worried about just the guy covering him. He sees where the slide's coming from, so he does get the ball out of the stick. He can finish the ball pretty well, as you guys probably saw today. Um, and he's a guy that it's really hard to short stick because of his size. He's a big boy that can get over the top. I mean, he probably could have had another one, I think, at the, at the end, down the far end, maybe in the, in the third quarter. He got, he, <laughs> he got around the corner, and uh, at the last second, they just nicked the stick. He got to learn how to keep this stick right to the head and he could have had another one for us. But um, for a young guy that, you know, this is his second, this is his first full college lacrosse game ever. Um, he got a little bit of time last week. He's got some work to do, but he's got some good traits. So, Matt, uh, you guys seem to score almost at will in that first quarter, especially early, and you were a big facilitator of that. What, what kinds of things were you seeing on the field that, that were really giving you the open opportunities? Uh, yeah, our team just kind of had the scout on them. They, we knew that they were going to slide early and that if the players of the team got in the right spots, then the people would be wide open, and that's what happened. Uh, Coach, how important was it for you guys to get sort of a statement win today heading into <clears throat> what is your toughest matchup so far against Navy? Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I understand why you're asking the question. I do. Um, I, I, you know, statement not statement, uh, <laughs> win by one, win by a couple more than one, um, it's a win. You know, there's going to be a whole new life, a whole new game, a whole new world come Friday night, right? Uh, and it was a whole new world today before the whistle blew. Then it was different than Merrimack. It was just the way it is. So we've, uh, we've got some, now we've got two games uh, of film. We've got two, we've got more minutes of experience. And now we've got to learn about our new opponent who, you know, they played really well after a, a, you know, an opening week loss to Mount St. Mary's. They came back and, and gave it to Mercer pretty good today. And uh, listen, Coach Hamplow, he's a Hofstra guy. John Orson, he's a Hofstra guy. They got a couple guys on the team that are Long Island guys. Navy hasn't been up here in a while. Their juice is going to be flowing and we can't get outplayed, right? We've got to, we've got to make sure 
that we can bring more energy than that. Coach, after a bit of a closer second quarter than, than the first, going into halftime, what was the message that allowed you guys to come out and, and really dominate uh, much of that third quarter? Yeah, I think we, you know, and, and Matt can attest to it, I think, you know, we came out of the locker room versus Quinnipiac and we challenged the guys for the first five minutes, right? If you can set the tone in the first five minutes coming out of halftime, then maybe you get that third quarter. And if you can get that third quarter, now, you know, it, when you get to the fourth quarter, teams have to play different. If you're ahead, you can play one way. If you're behind, you've got to play another way, right? But you still have to be desperate. And we didn't do that versus Quinnipiac, right? We had maybe a couple goal lead or whatever it was, and then they, they came back and shut the door a little bit on us. And today, uh, after it got a little bit jumpy, um, you know, to, to win that quarter at 7-1, um, you know, those guys have made a statement upstairs that, uh, that we're coming around and we want to win and we got to, we know we got to play desperate and and we you know I, I thought we did that and then again we you know, we dumped in another goalie we faced off our third faceoff guy um, we got a couple of runs from some guys that that you know play on our scout team all week that deserved some run I wish I could have got some more guys in but they did go on a little bit of a run and I want to make sure that we that we seal the victory as we go into the weekend so Matt what's your confidence playing with Justin and Sterling yeah it's pretty good to be able to play with them. I mean, I've kind of been in and out of the lines with Stir and uh, Justin basically in my four years here. Uh, I used to play with Stir back in youth days, so I've been with him basically almost my whole life, so I know how he plays. There are no more questions at this time. This concludes today's post-game press conference. Coach, Matt, thank you. Thank you.